Welcome. I'm Betty Hurley Dasgupta, and in this tutorial, I'm going to tell, show you how to create and publish a page in Mahara. So we are again at the initial Moodle page. I'm going to press the Mahara button. And as before, we are going to be uh, put into our dashboard. Uh, note that there may be messages on the dashboard as, as there are uh, today about some maintenance coming up. So in order to create a page, um, what you want to do now is to go into Portfolio. So we'll click on Portfolio. And as you can see, I've already created a number of pages. You uh, will have your dashboard page listed here in your profile, but you may not have other pages listed. But um, what you want to do is go ahead and create a page. Note the copy a page here. Um, if I clicked on that, uh, you would see a whole list of possible pages to copy and you can actually search. So if, um, if someone has allowed their page to be copied, it will be listed there. And uh, that may be a good way to start in terms of uh, playing around with the page, is to copy someone's page. It then becomes totally your copy and then you can go around and play with it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and create. So the first thing that comes up is um, to give a title to the page. So I'm just going to call it Sample Page. And uh, you can give a description of the page, but you don't have to. If you want to have tags to the page, you can put that in. Um, and you have choices as to what uh, gets uh, listed as dis display. I'll leave my whole name there. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now, what you see here are now some icons that appear, and we'll talk about those in a minute, um, and also some um, uh, items up here that you can choose. The first thing I'm going to do is to choose a theme. Uh, you uh, click on the bar and you see some choices for themes. You can try out different ones. As you try it, it actually will show immediately what it looks like. I'm going to choose primary school. And you can see how it automatically provides a dark blue outline here. Um, so it gives a little bit more color to the page. The other thing that uh, you should do initially, although you can change this over time, is to click on Edit Layout. And the reason for that is the default is actually three columns equal widths, which I find to be a little bit too noisy for a page. I usually choose one of the two column options, and for this one I'm going to choose two columns equal widths. You can change this as you go along, and it will uh, just change on your page. So that's a nice option, and we'll uh, save that. So now we have two columns here. The um, next thing that you want to do is to start, start putting components into your page. And I'm just going to show you a few. Um, you see you, you have a bunch of tabs here, five uh, tabs to, uh, six tabs to choose from. And as you select each of the tabs, the choices down here will change. And as you move across each of these icons, a description of what the um, you can do there is is given. For example, this is a folder, so you can um, place a folder on your page. So the uh, first thing I thought would be good is to um, put in information from your profile. So let's click on profile. You see you have two choices there, and I'm going to choose this icon, which is profile information to display and you click on it and hold and drag it down. You, you know you've successfully dragged it down when you do get this dialog box and for each of your choices you get a different dialog box. So um, this will be the title, so I'll just say about me. And um, the fields to show, so first name, last name maybe. Introduction, if you've put an introduction in your profile information. Um, this will give the profile pictures that you've already uploaded. So you can choose, and if you want to put your um, address in. Then um, you can put more introduction text in here. I'm not just going to save. And so this, you can see, that's a nice thing to have um, on your page. It gives your, uh, your photo 
and a little bit of information about yourself and if you would fill out more introduction information that would have gone there and in there you could have also put more information uh, regarding this page. Another element that's a very common one that you will find very handy and it's under general is the text page and it's this one right here. So let's just drag down a text page. Notes I, I click on it, drag it down, release, get now a dialog box. This is a title so we can just call this maybe information and then put in here um, more info and type it and see note here you, you really, really, really just look like a regular word processor so you have all the word processing possibilities here um, and save. So you can see that as you create your page if you want to give information about an image or a video that you've inserted you can just put in a text box above it and provide information. So a text box is, is certainly very handy. So that's another component. Another component that's helpful is under external content we have um, external media and this is where you can put in uh, for example YouTube videos which is probably the most common thing that people put in. So again let's go down and um, drag that down and note in this one it, it asks again for a title so let's call this because I've chosen a video about ePortfolios and it asks for the embed code uh, or the URL and it's just as easy to put in the URL. Notice all the icons for the different possibilities uh, where you can use embed code or URLs. Um, so there are many places where you can pick up um, a video and put it in very easily. Now I've um, put selected this ePortfolio. This is in YouTube and so all I'm going to do is just pick up the embed, uh, the not the embed code, the URL for that. Press Control C to copy it. Go back to my page and do Control V and put the code in there. You can play around with the width and height. I'm going to leave it at zero because actually that just means it will go to the default. But if you don't like the size of what uh, comes up, you can go back in here and um, change it. But let's go ahead and save and see what happens. And you can see it, it uh, fills nicely the, um, uh, the, the column that I've, I've uh, put in there. So that's actually a pretty nice size. On any of these, note that you have two boxes. The one on the left hand side, it says configure. That's really to, if you click on it, you can edit. The X means you can remove it. So it's very easy to put something in and say, oh no, I didn't really want that and um, get rid of it. Uh, note that if I click on the edit, I get this box back. So if I want to change the size, like now it's 560 by 349, let's say I want to change it to 350 and leave the 349 and save it. That the video is now a little bit smaller. So that's another component to put in. Uh, you can also put in images, which is also a very common thing that people put in. So we're back under Files, Images, and Video. You can put in a gallery of images this way, but I'm just going to do the one image. Again, carry it down. And if you have put images in already under your content, all your images will show up here, so you can select one. Um, or you can upload a file and before you upload it you have to first say yes uh, this file is something that I'm authorized to upload and then uh, you can uh, browse and choose a file um, an image file. I'm just going to put in one here so you just select and save and there's my image so that's a very nice thing. Now I can go in and edit that because I probably don't want image as the title but I'll leave that for now. Another thing you can do is if you do have journals um, that you have already uh, created in content you can publish your journal. 
So let's go ahead and take the journal. Click on that. I usually choose the entire journal, but you can have other selections here. And go ahead and put that in. And note that you can select your journals. So um, I'll choose this one for now. And entries per page, um, I usually select just two. Um, then it will, for other entries, it will, um, you'll have to press an hour to see the other entries. If you select five, that's a lot of entries to show, especially if they're long. Um, and if you want your journal to be copied when people copy your page, uh, you can do um, you can select that. Otherwise, the default is is that it won't copy the journal. So let's go ahead and save that. And it looks like I actually don't have any content in my PLA journal journey, but I've created it. But note I've got this new entry tag here, so I I can enter. Um, add to my journal right from my page. Okay, so that looks like a pretty good page now. Uh, it has a video, um, a profile box, text box, image, and a journal. The last thing that you need to do that's very important, and you can do it from other places, you can do it from uh, within your portfolio area up here, but you can also do it here is to share the page. Otherwise, if you don't, um, other people cannot see your page. Only you can see your page until you share it. So if you click on share page, then as uh, we had with the journal, you have all these choices. So let's let's say I, I I just want to um, share it with um, with my friends, so you can do that. And it came out double, so we have one here. If you just want to share it with other users in groups or a particular user, you can go in here. And if I wanted to share it with Susan Oaks, I can add Susan Oaks. And for now, maybe I, that's all I want. So let's get rid of friends, and Susan Oaks can see my page. And save that. Make sure you save. Advanced options, just to show that. Uh, you usually want to allow comments. Um, I am going to allow copy. And you can um, restrict the dates on when um, people can access it. And it brings me back actually to my um, my portfolio page. If I want to take a look at the page, I can click on it from here, and there's the page. If I had um, been in the page, so I click on Edit again to go back to the editor. If you're on here and you're still in the editor and you want to go back, make sure you click Done, and again you go back here. So um, please go now and create a page, put some elements in it, and uh, make sure you share it. Thanks a lot. And we'll go ahead and log out.